everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Butera's Bar. I am Todd Butera. You may already be following me on Instagram or Facebook. If you are not, please do. My Instagram is at Butera Todd, at B-U-T-E-R-A-T-O-D-D. -D. Mark that down. It's going to be down in the bio, so you'll be able to find it. Um, this I've been having such an overwhelming response from people on social media uh, for my um, quarantine cocktails. So I thought this would be a fun opportunity to show you how I make them and get you guys some, some little bit of a classic cocktails into your life. I figure if we can't go out to our favorite hot spots and have our favorite drinks, why not make our own living rooms the new hot spot? I mean, in a non-COVID kind of way. It's going to be just like Cheers, where everybody knows your name. At least I hope they do, because you're locked down with them, right? All right, we're starting out with an old classic. It's a Silver Fizz. It's a take on a gin fizz. Gin fizzes have been around since about 1887. Believe it or not, they were kind of invented in New Orleans. It is still a New Orleans signature drink. Um, they used to actually line up 20 to 30 bartenders behind the bar shaking up these drinks. That's how popular they were. Uh, so we are going to be starting with a raw egg white. Now, if you are immunocompromised, you can buy pasteurized eggs. We are adding lemon juice, so this helps a lot with it. It kind of cures the egg. We're gonna let it sit there for a little bit and we're gonna shake it up. We are gonna do a dry shake first. That's without ice. You always do that when you're dealing with eggs. So here we go. And basically the toughest part, right? Good thing this isn't live. Woo, actually worked, what do you know? All right, we are gonna add our lemon juice. This is about the juice of one lemon. This is for one cocktail. Double it if you're gonna make more than one or triple, whatever you need. So we're gonna add in that lemon juice there. We are also gonna add, you could use simple syrup, but we're doing these at home. So one of the easiest things to do is super fine sugar, okay? So I'm gonna do about a teaspoon and a half of super fine sugar. I am using that because, remember, this is lemon juice, gin, and some fizz and the egg. And the recipe, of course, is going to be in, in the bottom here. We're gonna add an ounce, uh, two ounces, sorry, of gin. And this is where we go, firstly, with our dry shake. Okay, we're just gonna shake the heck out of this so we kind of emulsify this. Remember, we are also using our um, Lemon juice. Wow, this is really a mess here. Okay. And now we're going to throw in some ice so it's nice and cold. Remember, this cocktail is going to be served up, so we want to make it really cold, and that's why we're adding all that ice. The key is to shake this until the shaker becomes really, really cold. Almost too cold to handle. And that's not bad. We're going to put it in a chilled glass. So I had some ice sitting there. And we're going to strain it nicely into this. You're going to see it's very frothy. This will look almost like a lemon meringue pie. And it tastes like a lemon meringue pie, actually, too. And lastly, since we did call it a fizz, you're going to add some fizz. Just a little bit of club soda. And I always think it's important to garnish your drinks. So I'm going to be extra fancy. I've got a little bit of a flower there. And there we are. That is our silver fizz. Chin chin. And I'm going to try it. And we're going to check in on someone. Those really are good. They're really refreshing, uh, frothy. Um, people have been following you making the drinks and they've been saying, hey, Todd, I made your drink. So we're actually going to check in on Zoom with a friend of mine who has made this drink. Hang on. Cameron? Hey, it's Todd. Are you there? Are you available? Hi, Todd. How are you? I'm doing all right. I could definitely use a drink. How about a Silver Fizz? Now, you've made one, right? This is my first time making a Silver Fizz and it was very easy to make. Your recipe was spotless and I'm looking forward to trying it. So what do you think? Summary, right? Gin? What, what could be bad about that? Let's try. Oh, it does taste like a key lime pie. 
Yeah, and actually with a, a silver fizz, you could use lime juice. Any sort of citrus would work. You could even make an orange silver fizz. It's up to you. And you can also play around with the sweetness. No, it's very sweet. It's very desserty, which I'm a fan of. Great. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. See how easy it is? Anyone can make these. They're easy to do. Get out there, go do it. And these, I'm gonna to try to give you ones with simple ingredients, or if we do something with a more complicated drink, I'll give you options so you can try all that. Cameron, thank you, and I will talk to you soon. We'll Zoom soon or talk on the phone, and uh, and stay safe, and, and, and thank you for being on today. Thank you, cheers. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me. We will be doing uh, more in the future. So stay tuned, please share this with all your friends, like the page, follow me on Instagram, and remember, uh, drink responsibly and social distance responsibly. Thank you.